What's up, YouTube world? This is Steven again, and it's currently 7.28 p.m. on January 21st of 2022, and I would like to welcome you all to my 475th song review and my second song review of the day. Uh, the song is recommended to me by Servant of Christ. Shout out to you. Hope you're watching. And the reason I'm doing another song review today is because he recommended a song that just came out today, so I wanted to do it so I can get maybe a lot more views than usual. And the song that was recommended was Lights of Fire by the band Wolves at the Gate. I've done quite a few Wolves at the Gate song reviews to, um, to this band, but I haven't heard of this song. It just came out maybe a few hours ago. Let's go ahead and get into it right now and see what this song is all about. It's the music video. The volume's all the way up. This is Lights and Fire by Wolves at the Gate. Here we go. Nice. I really like the queens during the chorus, those are really good. Oh, I like those couple of notes with the uh, guitar during this part. That right there. So that was Lights and Fire by Wolves at the Gate. That was a good song. I liked it. Um, I liked the uh, vocalist's clean vocals during the chorus. The chorus was really, really good. His vocals were a little bit more magnified during the chorus. I liked that. Uh, I liked the couple of um, chords and notes that the uh, guitar was hitting during the uh, during the bridge right before that final chorus. That was really cool. Um, 
The drums were super powerful, especially during the chorus, which is actually pretty rare because I think the guitar is a little bit more powerful in the chorus, usually in certain metal songs and stuff like that. But yeah, this was still a good song. I just didn't really get anything memorable. You know, it's pretty much right on par with all the songs, uh, metal or metal chorus songs I listened to. It's pretty much on par. Didn't get anything memorable, but it still was a good song. Wasn't bad, but you know, it wasn't like over the top good, if you know what I mean. But other than that, it was still really good. On a scale of 1 to 5, 5 being the highest, Lights and Fire by Wolves at the Gate is getting a 4 for me. Gotta keep looking on YouTube. Well, I don't need to keep looking on YouTube. I got enough song recommendations to last me until, what, two weeks from now? <laughs> but either way, that's my song review for today. Lights and Fire by Wolves at the Gate. If you liked what you saw in this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and comment below. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. This is Steven signing out.